Okay, so today's Friday, and um, I changed my mind about starting fractions today. Um, we're going to spend another day on decimals. I feel like this activity is um, really important, for one, because it has um, <clears throat> a real-life application. This is something that you will do in real life that deals with rational numbers, which are decimals that are are um, either positive or negative. So I wanted to make sure that we did this activity um, so we could get that real life application of, of working with rational numbers in real life. So um, math is something that you use daily in real life. It's just, you don't usually think about it the way you do when you're learning about it, especially when you're talking about variables and different things like that. So anyway, let's get started. So um, you will have a video that will show you how to split your screen like this. Um, I've already made it and put it into your to your uh, Schoology. So I just went ahead and split my screen like this and I want you to notice that um, I had to fit it to my screen so I just picked here for fit and um, I put this one on 50% so you can see both sides at the same time. I'm also going to be using uh, my image mate so I can show you what I would do on my dry erase board in between, so I'm gonna have actually three tabs open here, um, but you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Okay, so I made up this pretend activity. Um, yours is called Maddie's New Debit Card. It's about a young girl who's getting a debit card, a prepaid debit card, but I didn't wanna use the same numbers, but I wanted to show you how to do it because I'm sure you've never done a check register before. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this is just a little practice activity that I made up, <coughs> excuse me again, um, this is not true, I don't get um, $50 a month to spend on school expenses, I wish I did, so don't read into that too much because that's not true, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how, what I expect from this. So it says, Miss G gets a prepaid debit card to use for monthly school expenses. Each month, she receives a $50 deposit. The balance can go in the negative, but the bank charges her $10 each time it goes in the negative. <clears throat> so you need to remember that each month, you get a $50 deposit. And if you ever go into the negative, then that's, 10 more dollars that you have to pay to the bank. And also notice here, it says my monthly expenses, I spend $10 a month on Expo markers. So that's another thing that needs to come out each and every month. So let's get started. So this is called a check register. Um, and when you get a checking account, you will have something that looks like this and you'll put the date in, except you'll put an actual date. I just put the month um, for this activity. My beginning balance, it says I get $50 a month, so that would be a credit or a positive. So I'm going to put $50 in, and I've already got it formulated, so it'll put the dollar signs in for you. So if I start with $50, that means my balance is $50. Okay, I also said right here that I get, I have to spend $10 a month on Expo markers every single month. So I'm going to put that here, <clears throat> Expo markers, and that would be a debit. That's something I'm paying, so that's going to be a negative number. So that's $10 negative. Okay, let's go to ImageMate to see what our balance would be. <clears throat> okay, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so I started out with $50, so that would be a positive 50. And then I'm taking away, which we know is plus negative $10. Okay, I do this just like I've been doing everything else. Um, I check to see if it's addition, it is. So I check my signs. They're different, which means I'm going to subtract and I'm going to get $40. So now my new balance is $40. 
So let's put that in right here as $40. Okay, so let's look at August. <clears throat> and I've already filled in some of this. You'll be filling this in on yours. So it says I bought 68 composition notebooks for $6.80. So I'm just going to type in notebooks. And that would be a debit. So it's a negative number. So $6.80. And then I have to find that what my new balance is. So I'm going to go back to my dry erase board, or you can use paper if you'd like. And this time my balance was $40, so I know that's a positive $40. And um, I'm going to take away $6.80, so that's going to be a negative $6.80. Now, like I said yesterday, I like to write it out this way so I can see what I'm doing, but when I'm actually subtracting because my signs are different, I like to line it up, up and down. So I'm going to line it up, $40 minus $6.80. Zero minus zero is zero. I can't do this. I can't do this. So I'm going to come over here. 10 minus 8 is 2. Bring your decimal point straight down. 9 minus 6 is 3, and 3 minus 0 is 3. So my answer here is going to be $33.20. And my largest absolute value is positive. So my balance is still in the positive, $33.20. So let's go here and put in $33.20. <clears throat> Okay, it says my next expense, let me get this out of the way so I can see. My next expense is I bought a box of mechanical pencils for $7.47. So I'm just going to type in pencils. That is a negative $7.40 because I paid $7.40. And now I have to find my new balance. So my last balance was $33.20 and it was positive. And um, I just paid, was it $7.40? $7.40. So that's a negative $7.40. Okay, I'm going to line it up so I can see it better. 3320, make sure you always line up your decimals. Okay. Okay, I'm left with 2580. And my largest absolute value is positive, so my answer is positive. 2580. So let me get that typed in. All right, let's see what my next expense is. My next expense is I bought 10 new pairs of scissors for $19.99. So I'm going to type in scissors. And that is also a negative, $19.99. And now I have to find my new balance. So I have 2580. That was positive 2580. And my debit was 1999. So let's line that up. 2580 minus 1999. I knew it was subtract because I had different signs, so I knew I needed to subtract. Okay. Do the math. Bring your decimal sign straight down. And I am left with $5.81. And that's positive $5.81. 
Hey, so I come back over here. I'm finished with August, and here's my September expenses. But I have to remember that each month I get a $50 deposit. So I'm going to write in deposit. And this is debit, so it's not a debit. It's a credit. It's a plus. So I'm going to put in $50 here. So now I have to see my new balance. So I had my original balance was $5.81. And then I'm going to add positive 50. My signs are the same, which means I'm going to add. And this one's easy, so I'm just going to have 55.81. Okay, so I type in my new positive balance of $55.81. Okay, each September I also spend $10 on Expo markers. So it filled it in for me. Now that is a debit, so I'm going to take out $10. Now I come back and I find my new balance. So 5581, and that's positive, plus negative 10. My signs are different. That means I'm going to subtract. And that's another easy one. So I'm just going to go with 4581, and my sign is positive. So I'm left with 4581. Okay, now I can go on to my September expenses. It says I bought a new pencil sharpener for $36.25. So pencil sharpener, and that was a debit, so it's $36.25. Now I have to find my new balance. Ooh, looks like I'm getting a little short here. So I had positive $45.81 is my last balance. How much was my pencil sharpener? $36.25 plus negative $36.25. So on this one, I'm going to need to line it up because it's not easy for me to just figure out immediately. So I'm left with $9.56, and that's in the positive $9.56. So then I come back, and uh, it says I bought a Mr. Sketch Markers. And it says I paid $11.36. Oh, no, I don't have that much money. So let's see. That means I'm going to go in the negative because I'm spending more money than I have. So my last balance was $9.56, and it was positive. And my, ex, my Mr. Sketch markers were, how much were my Mr. Sketch markers? $11.36. So plus negative 11.36. My signs are different, which means I'm going to subtract. So let me line them up so I can subtract. 11.36 minus 9.56. Uh, eight. Mm. I am left with $1.80 and that was a really long bail. I'm left with $1.80. My greatest absolute value is this one, so it's I'm in the negative $1.80. That is not good. Negative $1.80. Hmm. Now, I know that if I go in the negative, my bank fee is going to be $10.
So now let's see how that works. So my last balance was negative $1.80. And then my bank's going to charge me $10. So that's plus negative 10. Oh man, my signs are the same, which means I'm going to add. And this one's an easy one. So that means I'm going to have $11.80. And my largest absolute value is negative. So my answer is negative. My balance is negative. Negative eleven dollars eighty cents. Oh man, that's a, that was a hard month. Okay, so now we're out of September. I'm in the negative, but I'm getting a fifty dollar deposit because it's a new month. So put that fifty dollars in, and then let's get our balance back in the positive. So my last balance was negative eleven eighty. And then I'm going to add positive 50. My signs are different, which means I'm going to subtract $50 minus $11.80. So I have $38.10 in the positive. Ooh, I'm glad I'm out of that negative. Now, I'm going to leave this with you. I think I've done enough to show you what I mean. Um, so you're going to do the Maddie's debit card. And this is the part that you're going to turn in to me. So make sure you turn in this part to me. All right. Well, good luck. And I hope you have a great day.